So hello and welcome to the third episode of the Unicorner, this time with two very special guests. Much more known than the ones that's been on before because uh, I have the honor of welcoming Ilham and Sebastian to this amazing show. Hello. Thank you. Hi. And maybe you could talk a little bit uh, more about yourself, maybe Ilham, if you start. Um, yes, um, I'm Ilham and uh, I'm the Umbraco Community Engagement Officer. That's basically everything community related. I'm, I'm doing my best to make the community happy. And you could say that it's called the CEO because it's one of the most important roles. Yes, yeah, because we love the community. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> and Sebastian? That's a good one. I also love the community. Um, Who doesn't? <laughs> recently became the head of PR, which stands for pull requests, not what you think it stands for. Um, so I help people who send their PRs to Umbraco to get them into Umbraco and um, I do triage on the issue tracker and I'm also known as the uh, chief, uh, tin, tin head officer, chief tinfoil head officer um, because I also care about security. Which is a good thing and you actually cared about security much <laughs> earlier than it became... I have an award! <laughs> the, what was it, the, 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 the patch? Award. Patch of the Year Award. That's true. <laughs> I even forgot about that one. So, um, before we begin, Ilham, uh, yes. there's a tradition with Friendly and Hungry. Yes. Could you share uh, yours? Yes. Um, well, my friendly tip for all Ombraco community, and even the new ones, um, we make sure that each uh, month we uh, highlight uh, one of um, the Umbraco community members uh, to uh, introduce them to those who don't know them and that's in a blog post that's called Your Profile. So as um, loving and friendly uh, our community is, I'm inviting you all to go to our in the community section, which is also a new section, um, and go to Your Profile subsection and please please nominate someone. We would love to know the new people, the ones who have been around and, and just shout out about them. Yes, and the hungry part. Yes, this, <laughs> this part actually is, um, is quite ambitious and that's why it's uh, hungry. And um, um, I, I would love if we could uh, put a goal of um, um, double the size of the community, of the Umbraco community. By when? My <laughs> one. That's that's actually now we're we're talking details. So let's just put it like on the hungry. <laughs> that's perfect, that's perfect. Yeah. Sweet. So um, lots of things happening community-wise. I mean, if we just take something, we're recording this uh, Monday, the twentieth of August. So mm -hmm. just for context, uh, last week there was uh, like a uh, an a barbecue event or something. In Aarhus, yes. Um, our friends at Display organized uh, an Umbraco barbecue, uh, which is uh, also going on all over the world. Um, but this was the first one in, uh, in Denmark, actually. I think, um, no, I know, uh, Callum and uh, Katie from uh, Corkworks flew in, especially for that. Um, and um, we had a, a bit of a hackathon before that, which is also pretty cool. And then you had a uh, also like a, a hackathon. A hackathon. <laughs> <laughs> Later on. Yes, first. the barbecue featured a uh, log with nails to do the famous uh, or, or infamous. Uh, I don't know what you call. What do you call it in Danish, actually? I don't even know. <laughs> I only Hammering know, the I only nails know the, uh, the, the, the log. In German, it's called ha Hammerschlag. <laughs> Hammerschlag. <laughs> So yes, and uh, and we did. Uh, uh, Jen Skogard um, organized a Umbraco pub quiz uh, with twenty five pretty uh, difficult uh, questions about the history of Umbraco, which was actually uh, quite fun. Mm -hmm. oh, cool. Speaking of uh, Hagathon, uh, you tweeted uh, about someone who seemed relatively yeah. new, but also a great example of. Yeah, speaking of friendly, uh, this was going to be my friendly, so... Um, um, we'll keep it. <laughs> okay. you, you didn't see what, what, okay. what was the same uh, But, but uh, the Umbrago barbecue, that's a great example of something that just came out of the community. I think it was yeah. uh, Callum and someone else from the Cogworks who yeah. sort yeah. of invented the Umbrago uh, barbecue. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe you could share what we are trying to do uh, uh, to kind of facilitate or help the community 
Well, if we stay with the example of the meetups, um, it's funny how you realize at one point that it's not, um, it, you just take it for granted that, of course, you just start a meetup uh, without giving people detail about how to go about it, be it the new ones or the ones who have been around. Um, so we just added this section on our uh, with information about starting a meetup and also what kind of support they can get from HQ. Um, and hopefully in the future we will work with the meetup organizers. Uh, so this way we will have a handbook or a toolkit for meetup organizers. So it doesn't necessarily need to be one format. It could be a barbecue, it could be a Christmas quiz, like for example what they do in the, in the meetup, in the London meetup. Um, so that that I, I think it's with with the part of um, demystifying the whole thing, but at the same time um, f remembering that we need to always uh, give tools to to people, be it the new ones to the community, or the ones who are established. Yeah. So, so a great example of this: if I wanted to start a meetup, uh, started a meetup, let's say two years ago, there would be no guidance. There would be no way to to learn about it. Maybe I could go. Maybe I could ask some of the existing meetup organizers, but today yeah. you can actually approach. Uh, yes, they can. Like yeah, they can approach us. They can start by going. Off. I I noticed that a lot of people would go on Twitter and ask questions, uh, but those who would rather just Google, they would land on our and then on our in the community section, you would find information about how to start a meetup and basically just get in touch with us. Um, of course. Uh, what we will do is just to put them in contact with, with the people from the community. It's always about community members helping each other because they know better than us, way, way better than us. Yeah. I also love how you can actually go, there's a community section on our now. Mm. Uh, there wasn't a year ago or a year and a half. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> we kind of just thought that people would know, know about everything. So maybe, yeah. maybe uh, what kind of information can I find now? So I think this launched in early this year actually, um, community section uh, on our, which is the community website, but we never ex explained what's going on outside of our Mraco. So there's a lot of things that are actually going on. So meetups is one thing. Uh, we have all the meetups that are being organized um, uh, listed there. So uh, a calendar of uh, future meetups, current meetups. Um, then we have uh, people blog about Mraco. Um, people uh, live all over the world. We have a map featuring um, uh, people near you so you can get an idea of uh, if you want to start a meetup is there actually anybody near me who would, uh, would want mm -hmm. to join this. Um, what else? We have um, the MVPs. MVPs. Um, uh, most valuable people. Yes. Uh, yep. Uh, We've got information uh, about Code Garden because again we just mm -hmm. assume that everyone knows this information mm -hmm. so we try to be a thorough, as thorough as possible but, it, but um, I mean, the idea would would be that we have people from the community actually helping us with this information. It's basically documentation available mm. to the community to know how the community works and how they can just um, just be part of it um, and and not be intimidated at, at the beginning, feeling that it's a closed circle and people yeah. cannot get in. I really love that because it's never been intended yeah. to be a closed circle, but yeah. but there was really a time until recently where. From outside, it could really seem like, how do you yeah. get into this cult? Yeah. So, yeah. amazing yeah. job. So, Sebastian, what's uh, the daily life like <laughs> in the life of uh, head of PR? <laughs> um, well, uh, uh, currently, um, we are looking at... So, we have um, a few volunteer members from the community who are helping, helping us out with, uh, with uh, incoming PRs. Uh, we've been uh, very busy after Code Garden with new incoming PRs because everybody got really excited about uh, PRs and um, uh, we've dealt with about 160 to 175 ish since Code Garden. Um, currently it's slowing down a little bit, which is nice. Now we can concentrate on the slightly older PRs that are still open. Uh, and actually give them the love that they deserve. Um, this has already resulted in uh, two new releases of Umbraco where we have uh, mostly uh, community contributions in uh, the core of Umbraco, which is actually really cool. All those things that people think um, are great for Umbraco, they finally make it into Umbraco. Uh, so it's, it's, been, uh, it's been a pleasure to, to do that, yeah. So, so your role is primarily to facilitate the 
the, the, the new PR team? Yeah, or? so they, they start with uh, replying to the PR, uh, looking at the code, looking at the um, functionality, if it works, if it does what it says it does, uh, things like that. And then at some point they're like, okay, and then they communicate with the person who's um, uh, sending us the PR. And at some point they go to to me and say, "Sib, I think this is uh, this is great. We should uh, we should probably merge this if this meets what uh, what uh, Umbraco needs as well." Uh, so yeah, that's that's what we've been doing, and then I do another round of testing and see if that's actually um, uh, what we need and if the code is okay and things like that. Yeah. So if I'm new to the community and I'm like, ah, oh, it's it's I I would love to get involved. I would love to be more active. Yeah. What what should I do? I'm not a coder. Mm -hmm. uh, ah, mm -hmm. or, I mean, I use Umbrago in my day-to-day -day life, mm -hmm. but I'm not like a hardcore C-sharp, yep. mega senior developer architect type. No of need. We, what we, do we do? We welcome all kinds of contributions. So um, yes, code is great. Uh, documentation, uh, we can also uh, um, use pull requests for that. Documentation are, are markdown files, so it's pretty easy to edit. Um, if you're really into front-end stuff, um, you can uh, get your gulp on and start uh, building uh, stuff for uh, things that look nice in the back office. Um, uh, please make, uh, if you have no knowledge whatsoever, please make issues on the issue tracker saying, I don't think this works the way it's supposed to work, or I think we need this, and other people could possibly pick it up as well. So that's, uh, yeah, multiple kinds of contributions. If you came to the Umbrella community today, uh, mm -hmm. what would you do? Let's say that you you would like to be a part of the project. You would like to uh, contribute. Uh, what would you do? What would you have done two years ago? Uh, today? As, um, as, as someone I, from the community yeah. or as some, uh, I would definitely get involved in uh, in events uh, so that I would meet other people um, and and then get to know more about the product and of course get to know more about this, the whole dynamic. Um, so for that, well I guess for this year it's, um, I would be thankful that the community section exists so I would just try to get a feeling of how is the activity around where I live and, and then just uh, get in touch. Um, but, but again it really <laughs> depends on the person. Of course. Um, yeah. um, but so, so how do I know? Uh, how do I find out about events? Uh, where would I look? That again, uh, we made sure that everything is uh, in one section. So I would go to the meetups and that all the events are listed there. But actually we're working on something um, something new where we can have all the meetups, all the Umbraco meetups easily uh, found. Um, because for now, on our, we just show um, the active or the upcoming events. Yeah. Um, but we'll soon, um, uh, we will have uh, an overview of all the meetups that are Umbraco related. And for that, I will, then I will just search by location and uh, click on the event um, and see who are the organizers and then get in touch with them. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I would like actually to um, uh, explain something. We've been saying meetups, meetups, meetups. Mm -hmm. It just that happens mm -hmm. that meetups is one of the, um, the efficient ways that people have been using to meet with other people, be it on Umbraco or, or uh, other uh, topics. And, we, and that's why they are listed on our uh, but uh, you can have a, a Facebook group, um, you can create your own local LinkedIn uh, group if you want, and we will make sure if there is demand and, and people want that to be listed on our, we will do our best to have it listed on our. Just wanted to clarify that because I got some feedback <laughs> and we've been using the word meetup a lot. Um, so whatever gathering that makes sense to you as a community member, just feel free to, uh, to start that and we will do our our best to help and my email address is listed on our as the person to go to so feel free to reach out to us we are as friendly as advertised <laughs> that, that's uh, a <clears throat> that's a uh, what do you call it that's something that can be tested now so you should all go email yes email yeah no problem <laughs> just go on vacation in the day but that's fine <laughs> <laughs> so we have a you tradition the out of office reply <laughs> <laughs> we have another tradition at the unicorn it's called this Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, so it's the uh, uh, very messy basement full of uh, <laughs> weird things, and, and I don't know if you've managed to find anything. I think we, uh, we found something. Uh. <laughs> 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 and Niels, uh, uh, Ilan doesn't know what this is. I, I can no. remember half the story, uh, but I would really love your, uh, your explanation of these beautiful painted puppets. Yeah, they are, they are Japanese plastic figures that you can paint. Uh, they, they actually come and then they're completely white. Uh, and then these are actually yet another of those great ideas <laughs> that was never properly executed. So um, we have our partners. So we are all, we're talking about community. And of course, another part of the community is also our, our partners. And some of them turn gold partners. And we thought like these they are superheroes. I mean they help us they help us fund the project. This is uh, I think we are six, seven years back. Mm -hmm. And we thought we wanted to give them something special because we didn't want to give them like a plexi glass with an Umbrago logo. Mm -hmm. So we thought let's make something really weird. And then uh Peer, who used to work here, uh, one of his friends uh, is, is uh, was doing some some artist stuff. He actually the uh, the figures up there are the oh, same, yeah. just in, in big Bigger yeah. ones, yeah. and uh, he came up with the idea of uh, of making small ones uh, that was painted as various weird superheroes. So anything from Superman to uh, Hulk to uh, to someone from Baywatch, <laughs> um, they're all there. Um, and then uh, we got them. We we actually I think we have forty of them. <laughs> uh, and then we looked at them. And they were like, well. How can we make these on Brago frame? <laughs> and then it kind of stopped there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should revive that. Yep. Uh, now we just need almost a hundred to Luxury problems. True. Uh, but that's, yeah, nice fun. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, well, before the end, yes. um, I think it's uh, time for uh, your friend in Hungary. Ah, yes. So my friendly was indeed an anecdote that you kind of uh, hinted at earlier uh, from the... Uh, uh, so right before the barbecue in Aarhus, uh, we had a small hackathon. There was uh, six people there, and one of them showed up and I'm like, hi, how are you? Um, um, how long have you been using Embraco? He's like, well, uh, it's been about two days now. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and he's like, I want to investigate. So his name is uh, Radu. He's from uh, Romania, but lives in uh, Denmark. Um, uh, wanted to investigate how Embraco works, and he, uh, he really uh, enjoyed working with Embraco for a few days. And he decided to come to the meetup and um, uh, learn uh, a little bit more about it. And uh, he actually sent his... Um, I helped him a little bit, uh, sending him sending his first pull request to Braco, uh, which was then also um, uh, merged that day. So um, even if you're really new to Braco, you can get your pull request merged on the second day that you're actually using Braco. So um, that's a good encouragement for being friendly and helping people uh, out uh, with their first uh, contribution. I love that one. Also, there's two things in this I love. Mm -hmm. One, the idea that you don't have to be an expert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then number two, that six people at Hackathon is actually super nice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, because so, some mm -hmm. of our numbers are really big, mm -hmm. sometimes people tend to forget that actually just meeting up three or four people or having a Hackathon of yeah. six yeah. is actually a success. And it was I nice mean, and being able to help out a little bit more than just lots of people sitting there. And I can even miss uh, the, 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 the small events yeah. because it's so much more, uh, you learn so much more yeah. uh, the people there. Yeah. So, yeah. That's cool, that's cool. cool. Like it? Yeah. And if you were me, Sebastian? Oh, um, oh yes, well, uh, going back to my uh, chief tin foil hat uh, officer uh, title, um, uh, security is important to me, and um, I would really love to see some more uh, some more love in Embraco uh, for that. So, um, uh, built-in support for two-factor authentication, uh, having uh, an integration with uh, something called Have I Been Pwned, it would be nice. And uh, he, um, the same guy who made that, Troy Hunt, also has a uh, uh, password checking tool now to see if your password has ever appeared on a uh, breach list. So you should never use that one. That would be really cool to in implement as well. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, so those kinds of things uh, uh, I'm rooting for. Wasn't there someone in the community who made it? I think Callum is making uh, the, the, the Pwned password, it's called. Um, so I think he's releasing a package for that this uh, this week, he said. Cool. Great idea. Uh, thank you so much for coming. I mean, we could be talking for <laughs> hours uh, about uh, 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 community contribution, but, but I love 
to get your face out there and, <laughs> and your email. Uh, <laughs> not, not these. Yeah. When are you coming back from holiday? Uh, September 3rd. September 3rd. So wait, wait with emails until September 3rd. Or just send, send them all away. Your emails to, uh, <laughs> to Sebastian. To Sebastian. <laughs> uh, so thank you so much. Uh, thank you. And um, before we end, if you have any suggestions, uh, uh, write them in the comments. Remember to subscribe and like, <laughs> or else just uh, reach me at the Chief Unicorn. Uh, Ilam, Sebastian, thank you so much for joining. Thank you. And uh, have a nice day. You Thanks, too. you too.